Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this video, uh, overviewing the Texas Longhorns 2012 football season. Um, just a quick recap. Finished 9 4. Uh, we won our bowl game. We beat Oregon State 31 27. And our losses came in number 8, West Virginia. Number 13, Oklahoma. TCU. And number 6, Kansas State. At the time, that's what they're running because West Virginia, I mean, they didn't finish number eight. <clears throat> um, the season started out good. Uh, first game was a tough win, 37 17. That score did not indicate because Texas was down 9 to 7, like midway through the second quarter before they, they turned it around. Next game, they shut out New Mexico. Uh, it was Bob Davies who re returned to college football, and New Mexico just was. Oh, they did not have the talent. Third game, they went to Ole Miss and smacked them 66 to 31. Ash had a huge game. I mean, Ash had a huge game. Um, our run game was good. Defense played good. So, then went to Oklahoma State, won a nail biter 41 to 36. Which game, Ash played terrific. Defense made the stops when when you needed to, then we were four and up. Then we played West Virginia, lost to them 48 to 45. Uh, we were down 48 38, and we scored a touchdown like 15 seconds left. And uh, Ash played good. Defense just did not make as many stops as we needed. And but that game, West West Virginia West Virginia was exposed. Then the Red River rivalry, we got. Our butts whooped. I mean, 63 to 21. I think it was like 50 something to 2 at one point. So, y'all can see how I'm not really, you know, happy about that. Then we won a shootout with Baylor, 56 50. Uh, we went to Kansas. We were down 17 7. Came back. We won 21 17. And we went to Texas Tech. Which is really a very underrated place to play. It's very tough. Love it. They're loud. They're crazy. But we came up with the win, 31-22. Then we beat Iowa State like a Texas team should, 33-7. Dominated them. Um, they're also the game dead, dedicated to, to DKR. Uh, he passed away that week. So then Thanksgiving Day, TCU lost 2013. And Went to Kansas State, got beat 42-24, didn't play Oregon State, and beat them 31-27. Um, Ash was a leading passer. He was, he had 2,699 passing yards with a 6-7 completion percentage, 19 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Jonathan Gray was leading wrestle with 149 yards, I mean, more than 149 carries for 701 yards and three touchdowns. Joe Bergeron had most rushing touchdowns with 16. Good God. And, uh, receiving wise, Mike Magic Davis was the leading receiver with 939 yards and seven touchdowns. Jackson Shipley had 737 yards. And that's a really good one two punch. Davis, I think they're, they're, they're both juniors this year, I, I believe so. And, uh, the player I think is going to have a breakout year is DJ Johnson. He had 27 carries for 203 yards and one touchdown, and 19 receptions for 287 yards and one touchdown. I mean, that's a, a, that's a true freshman. And Texas is returning up three eight starters on offense and like seven on defense. We're losing Okafor and Bacaro. I think those. So we should turn on nine. You know, it was a good win, and uh, and Monroe. So we're losing about four key contributors. So I'm saying, watch watch out for Texas next year because they're going to be damn good. They have all their linemen returning, so they'll be they'll be good. Um, as of this year, I'm glad Applewhite got. Hired because with Harson and Davis, they they played they called games too soft. They didn't let Ash throw the ball deep. 
they not use our speed guys like they should. You saw in the bowl game. Applewhite used Goodwin. He used Davis. He used J.J. Johnson. He used Shipley. He used Gray. He used Bergeron. This this offense is good. They just don't get used right. And Applewhite is going to learn more up tempo. I think he'll see more uh, of a spread look, which will help him out even more. And I think next year, the only losses that I can see is Oklahoma, TCU, and that's probably about it. I mean, West Virginia, they're going down because they're losing Geno Smith, Savon Ross, and Stedman Bailey. And then K-State, they're losing Colin Klein. Oklahoma State's going to be good next year. I think because Texas usually has their number, except for the two years that we lost them back-to-back. -back. But we typically have their number. Um, K-State, scary because they they have our number. I'm not going to can't be K-State for some reason. Um, I, can, it, I believe if we don't go to a BCS bowl game next year, Mac Brown's going to be fired. Because, I mean, this is Texas. We expect BCS and conference championship and not both, not just regular bowl games. So, um, yeah, that's not it. Um, nothing much more to say. So, just let me know what y'all think.